took him by surprise. Now, Cleveland, a lofty Ooh. tail higher rotator. Has the landing, wants to show the judges he's got <laughs> control. He definitely nailed it. But let's now reflect back at what happened over here in Huntington Beach. Let's go for the top five moments of the Lexus US Open of surfing. Starting with number five, this was epic. The Legends Heat, Jeff Deffenbaugh. I had a good time during this one, Kaipo. d right there, getting his flowers. He saw Mike Parsons snips, also hit the water. He had a couple of sick waves during the Heritage Heat. Hats off, though. Oh, Tommy oh. Curran, more than 60 years of age out there, Kaipo. Three-time Open champion, three-time world champion. And Archie, favorite turn of the event right there. Also, Shane Beshin, a former U.S. Open winner, joined the Heritage Heat and looking smooth out there. Beshin hasn't missed a beat. Number four, our women's longboard champion, Flick, Rachel Tilly. Yeah, Rachel Tilly absolutely smoked this field, right? It almost seems like such a long time ago when you look back at this footage here. <laughs> but just it does, doesn't it? I mean, but she just surfed with so much style and flow and grace. And yeah, it was epic to see her get the win here. Big win too for her. And I mean, I just, I just can't believe watching this footage. Like, it seems like so long ago when we look back. But yeah, big win for her, second event on tour. Looking forward going into the third and yeah, finishing off with the fourth. Number three, our men's longboard champ, the big guy, Taylor Jensen, was incredible. Well, and he's got back-to-back -back wins too, so he's out to a commanding lead right now. Number one in the rankings, coming from Oceanside. He's very accustomed to not only a beach break up here too. You can see it right out there, the grace style. I would also think the wave selection had to have been one of the major factors for his success this last week out there at, J at HB. Number two, Sally Fitzgibbons flick takes out another US Open title. Yeah, this was so awesome to see, you know, I just, the woman in the draw who has the most experience put all of that experience to use today. I mean, different scenarios, going left, going right, really smart priority calls and there was a few sliding doors moments in that final where Sally just made smart decisions and you know showed that maturity that uh, she's got from just so many years and so many so much experience but yeah epic to see her get the win and I love it when good people win <laughs> it's just she's so genuine yeah so authentic and it's so good to see enjoyed the win with her family here supporting her it was an emotional one and deserved win for Sally Fitzgibbons. Number one, Viva Mexico. Alan Cleland took out a US Open title, Mitchell. The biggest win of his career so far and a historic moment for both the country and the region of North America. We've seen Canadians, we've now seen Mexicans make it to this stage too. And he is really succeeding with flying colors. Takes out his good buddy, Marco Mignot, literally in the dying seconds of the final two. Had a couple of buzzer beaters during this event, Kaipo. None bigger than that one in the final, though. Oh, yeah. And moves in to the top 10 scenario on the Challenger Series, Alan Cleland Jr. Oh, man. All right, well, Flick, um, gosh, final thoughts. It's, it seems like we've been here a month. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Honestly, my final thoughts about, George, if I just think about today, Alan and Sally, are the two biggest legends on this Challenger Series Tour as far as I'm concerned. They're just really good people and I like it when good people win. I feel like it's so deserving and made me happy. Feels Mitchell, right. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss you too. I'll see you in a few weeks during okay. the Lexus WSL <laughs> yeah. Finals though. Yeah, your yeah. thoughts. Well, huge win for Mexico. Very proud, obviously. The biggest thing for me is just Alan Cleveland being able to overcome those kind of adversities right there. Shout out to Marco Mignot. Career best result right there. Looking forward to Fiji now, Kipes. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Flick. Thank you, Mitchell. It's